Okay, today we're going to learn how to make these giant panoramic files uh, that have, some of these have 200 megapixels. Uh, these are so big you can print them anywhere you want. You can make them with any drone. I'm going to use the Mavic Air 2 as an example and the Skydio to show you that you can do it even if there's no panorama um, uh, skill on the drone uh, that's programmed into it. So um, this is what today's tutorial is about and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to make this one using the Mavic Air 2, and we're going to use the skill set within the um, Mavic 2. Mavic 2 does, uh, Mavic Air 2 does have a 48 megapixel uh, file that you can use, a, a photo um, option that you can use. But what that does is it takes every megapixel, it's a 12 megapixel, megapixel uh, sensor, and it cuts them into four smaller pixels and gives you 48 megapixels which is fine if you have a lot of light and there's not a huge dynamic range and but it's not going to give you this aspect ratio it's not going to give you this much detail and uh, it's and it's but it is very good for certain circumstances like I say when you have good light and when you uh, want to take that that uh, sensor size picture but we're going to take this photograph using the pano mode and when we're done, it's going to be about, uh, I think this is 80 megapixels big when we got through with it. And uh, so here we go. Show you how to do this. Take off. Okay, here we are. The Taking home point the has been deck. updated. Please check it on the Can map. Just look around a bit, make sure we've got the best view. There's not a lot of clouds in the sky. Ideally, I would do this when we have a good sunrise or sunset. Uh, but I waited and waited. It didn't happen. I wanted to make this video, so let's just do it. With today, we have enough light in this early morning that we can do it. So you're going to go to Photo, then you're going to go to Pano Mode. When you get to Panoramic Mode, go to the camera and make sure you turn the photo type to RAW. This is going to save every picture you take. The drone will take panos, but they'll be small JPEGs that you can't edit very well, and they're not very big. So if you wanted to make a big print, you couldn't do it. So we're going to use start here with this mountain uh, and part of the river. Go to vertical. I find vertical works best. So we're going to go to the vertical, line it up where we want it, and make again make sure you're in the raw and we're going to take one it's going to take three pictures this is not a very good looking vertical when you look at it so after you take it we're going to rotate a little bit to the right so that we're two-thirds notice where those lines are we're going to go two-thirds to the right and do it again see where we're lined up go to the right just pan it a little bit to the right we're right where that little pond is, stop about there. Um, do it again. We'll do it again. You see where that construction site is? They're building a hospital there. We're going to pan so that, that hospital is on the line to the far left. The, the, the rule of thirds line. I went a little bit too far. Go back. Okay. We'll do it. Uh, let's get the whole river in view and that little bridge. And the little cul-de-sac we live in. We can do one more. You can do this all the way around. You can do a 360 and it's going to look beautiful. <clears throat> so by using the vertical uh, this way, we probably end up here with 15 pictures or so. Um, so they'll be in different files. So we need to import them. Uh, 
let's go down to, uh, no, we'll use this catalog. Go down to import. And uh, now they're not going to be all together. They're going to be in a file called Panorama, but they're going to be in each one of these. So we took one, two, three, we took six. Yeah, we took six vertical panoramas. We're going to turn those into one huge panorama. So here are all the raw images. Uh, and not very impressive like they are, but we're going to stitch them together inside of Lightroom. First, we import them. Mind you, you can do this with any camera. You can do this with any drone. If your drone does not have the panel mode, you can still do this. You just need to take each one individually. We'll do one of those, a quick one, with a drone that I have that does not have the panel mode. Okay, once these are imported, select the first and the last. Basically, select all of them. Do Shift and Okay, do shift and and select and then go to photo merge select panorama or you can do control M and this is probably not going to work because we're in cylindrical a lot of times cylindrical or perspective won't they, not all of those three program selections on the top right will work um, spherical will work though um, if it doesn't work just try another one Okay, I got to cancel start over because it's just been on the clock. So let's do photo merge again. It's in spherical this time. So it should work. And it didn't work. Darn it. Try one more time. Okay, that worked. You can also see um, that auto crop, if you don't want to use that, I like auto crop, so I leave that on, hit merge. And depending on your computer, it'll take a minute. Sometimes my old computer would take a long time. My new computer does it right away. And you can see it's created us a new raw image. Um, and that's going to be what we're going to edit from. Uh, you can see it needs some editing, too many shadows. But let's look down here in the right corner, number 19. It's 11,175 pixels by 4,350 pixels. So that's, um, that is, I think that's something like 70, 75, around 75 megapixels, which means we could print it here where we want. Just a golden dawn uh, with the sun behind us. No clouds in the sky, just doesn't look all that great. But that's the, that's the process anyway. You have the process. And of course, you can, uh, you can edit this however, any way that you like. Uh, I've edited it to as best I can for now anyway. You can see it's a giant picture. So if you wanted to, if you like this aspect ratio, and you want to print it, this is the way I would do a panel. In fact, I would do a panel this way anytime. You never know when it's going to be something that just really turned out beautiful. Okay, now let's do it on a Skydio that does not have the panoramic uh, mode in the, um, in the firmware. Take off from the deck again, which the birds don't like. We do have better clouds right now, um, especially if we go... So it's the afternoon of the same day. If we go um, towards the eastern mountains and up a little bit, that looks okay. But that's where we took the last one. Um, but look at these clouds over here, and, and mountains are really beautiful. So let's do their pano. Let's do our pano here. These clouds are better. We're not going to have that problem with the sky because we've got a lot more texture and depth and it's just more dynamic. So here we have to do it by hand. So what we're going to do is use the controls on the gimbal to 
and the drone to move it. We're gonna, first, we're going to change it to photo mode. And um, we could do this in HDR. This, this uh, drone does have an HDR mode, but I don't find it all that helpful. It always turns red like that when it switches modes, so that's normal. Okay, we're going to line it up. Um, just making sure we're in photo mode. Uh, we are. Everything's on raw, so that's okay. We'll do it from this mountain without the snow across to the mountains with the snow. Take one picture. Point the gimbal up a bit. Take another picture. Up one more. Another picture. Go back down to where we were. Uh, this is a beautiful sky. Drone is not responding. Come on, go down to where we were. Sometimes it takes a minute for this one. Okay, finally the gimbal responds. So we're going to go down to where we were and then just pan a little. Uh, not slide a little. Stop. Pan a little to the right. That little slide won't matter because we're going to stitch these together. Gimbal up. Take another. Gimbal up further. Take another. Go back down to where we were. Pan a little more to the right. Repeat. It's a little bit more laborious when you don't have the panel function, but it still works beautiful. And let me reiterate, you can do this with any camera. You can do this standing on the ground. I used to do this with a tripod and just make sure everything was exactly level because it was hard to stitch. But now with Lightroom, you can stitch any connected photographs as long as they overlap. Uh, you need to overlap 20-30%. Um, and I use the I use the guidelines. I use the um, rule of thirds lines, and um, and I use that to keep me roughly level. But even if you're not exactly level, it's going to work. The software of Lightroom just works really well. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, out. These are the pictures right here. So I've already imported them. Um, they're the last 15 or so. Um, you can see them right there where they are. We're going to take them, do just like we did before. Um, create a panoramic view. This could take a minute depending on your computer and graphics card, but with me it's usually um, only a few seconds. And there you have it. That's kind of bleached out a little bit but we can fix that real quick let's this will be a lot easier to edit so and you don't if you already have figured this out you can just go on your way but um, we'll just bring down the highlights uh, we don't need to bring up the shadows those shadows in the left will recover those with local adjustments um, it's a pretty good looking histogram there but we'll crush the blacks a little more just to introduce some contrast and the dehaze is the magic sauce this is already looking good but let's take care of those dark shadows in the bottom corners and we'll just uh, create a local adjustment and I noticed on my last picture I didn't I had those textures and sharpness low because I'd probably been on the picture before that working on the sky Sometimes having the sky with less detail is better, but anyway, I can go back and fix that other panorama. With this one, we just make that dark corner a little bit better and show the beauty of that tree here in the spring. Duplicate that, take it over to the other side, which is too bright and too harsh. So let's blend it better and uh, bring it down the exposure way down and so it looks um, natural that looks pretty good just like it is maybe add a little temperature um, sun's behind us again we're in the opposite direction 
we're facing the east. Um, that's what you have after it's all uh, edited. That's what we have, a very big, uh, so that again, that's a 12 megapixel camera and we made, this is like a 60 megapixel um, panorama that you can print. And just imagine if you're on the beach or with a sunset or, you know, whatever you have. Uh, this is, these are just an average day here in central Utah, but um, depending on where you're located, you know, you can just really make epic, beautiful, detailed prints from doing the panoramic and stitching it in Lightroom and editing it there. I hope you enjoyed this, the end of the video, and have a nice day. Please leave a comment. If you like it or subscribe, let me respond. Have a nice day.